Uh, there's no question there were contacts, but I think when you and other Democrats, I'm not saying it was just you, talked about collusion, there was the feeling of a working arrangement and an agreement, and that the, somehow the Trump campaign was involved in the hacking of the DNC and Podesta emails, and that there was a back and forth, a working relationship as opposed to individual meetings. Do you have evidence of that kind of working relationship that the Mueller report didn't seem to find? Well, Chris, first of all, I never said that the Trump campaign was involved in the hacking itself. Uh, what I did say is that, uh, for example, in that Trump Tower meeting, there was a clear intent uh, to collude with the Russians. There was a willingness to receive Russian help. Uh, the president himself called on the Russians to uh, assist his campaign by hacking Hillary Clinton's emails. Uh, and if you look at uh, pages 180 to 190 that discuss that Trump Tower meeting, uh, it wasn't that they found a lack of evidence uh, of all the things that I talked about. In fact, the meeting did play, take place. In fact, the, they did offer dirt on Hillary Clinton. In fact, the president's son did say he would love to have it. In fact, uh, the president's son lied about it. In fact, the president was involved in dictating that lie. All the facts I set out are proven. But what Bob Mueller said, the reason he didn't charge Don Jr. and Jared Kushner and Paul Manafort is he found that he could not establish with admissible evidence that Don Jr. was knowing, uh, knew that he was breaking the law, that he was essentially ignorant of the law. Uh, now, with respect to Paul Manafort, uh, we only have one sentence as to why some of that experience uh, didn't know that seeking the help and, and receiving the help of a foreign government was a crime. Uh, and that's something we're going to want to ask Mueller about when he testifies. Uh, Bob Mueller also said that he couldn't establish the value of the dirt they got. So, so this, I would say this to Kellyanne Conway. The only reason that Bob Mueller says he didn't charge a crime about that Trump Tower meeting was because he believed that uh, Don Jr. was too ignorant of the law to be charged, okay. and because the Russians didn't deliver the dirt they promised. Not that the campaign didn't try to get dirt, but the Russians didn't live up to their end of the bargain. This is House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff blowing a hole in Trump's endless refrain that there was no collusion. The most important point that he noted was that there was intent for the White House to collude with the Russians. Even the Mueller report itself said that Trump's campaign expected it would benefit from Russian involvement. So to pretend like all of these instances of clear-cut collusion don't exist is just political theater. And to be honest, it's ironic that Trump has made no collusion his rallying cry because that's the one thing we do know happened. Even the Mueller report itself says that it wasn't that there wasn't evidence of collusion, it's that the investigation didn't prove that it rose to the level of criminal conspiracy, which, as the Mueller report states, would require an agreement, tacit or express, between the Trump campaign and the Russian government on election interference. But as for the collusion, we've seen it play out before our eyes. We know that there was a Trump Tower meeting with a Russian lawyer who promised dirt on Hillary Clinton. We know that George Papadopoulos bragged to an Australian diplomat that the Russians had that dirt. We know that Paul Manafort shared polling data with Konstantin Kalimnik, who has links to the Kremlin. We know that Trump asked the Russians to find Hillary Clinton's emails because, um, we heard it on national television. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. You'd think that a master brander like Trump would do better than to pick the one thing that he was actually guilty of when trying to exonerate himself in the court of public opinion. It's like him spending all day trying to convince the public that his marriage is healthy. Maybe maybe focus on anything else. And so while the White House might point to the fact that Robert Mueller didn't charge Trump or his family with crimes as evidence of complete and total exoneration, that's not the case whatsoever. As Schiff said, the only reason Don Jr. isn't in jail is because Mueller couldn't prove that he knew taking the Trump Tower meeting was a crime or that they couldn't establish the value of the dirt from that meeting. But that doesn't mean there wasn't the intent to collude, to work with the Russians, to meet with them and exchange information and work toward a common goal, which clearly there was. And anyone whose head isn't buried in the sand can see that, and Congress will take that information and decide whether they'll use it to impeach Trump. From Bill Barr's misleading four-page summary to his off-the-wall press conference to the endless Fox News spin machine to the White House's own acknowledgement that they'd be ramping up attacks regardless of what the Mueller report showed, this has never been about the results of the investigation. The fact that Trump is still yelling out, no collusion, is proof of that. This is about the President of the United States gaslighting the American public with some Orwellian strategy to convince us that we don't know what we already know and that we haven't seen what we've seen with our own eyes.